Hey, this is uh, Noodles coming at you from The Fallen 13, and uh, I'm here today with a special video. This is my first uh, top 10 list, or in this case, top 11 list, because this summer, summer of 2009, I saw a total of 11 movies in theaters, and uh, I will rank them in a top 10 list sort of fashion. Top 11. So, uh, yeah, let's begin. Writer director Judd Apatow directs his third movie, Funny People, starring Adam Sandler and Seth Rogen. You know, I really like this movie. Uh, I mean, all the movies this summer, I none of them I didn't like. I mean, I really like this movie. Acting was great. The humor was hilarious. I mean, I really liked it. Um, I liked what was going on between the two characters, the Ira and the. Uh, Adam Sandler's character, I forgot his name. Uh, yeah, I just like their relationship and I like the last scene of it. It's just, it's heartwarming. The thing I didn't like about it was that it seemed a little scattershot. I mean, it was like that kind of, it was like one type of movie, but then it switched to an entirely different sort of movie and it got kind of confusing. It got kind of just, I don't know, I didn't, you didn't really want to follow it anymore, but it was still a okay. Transformers 2 Revenge of the Fallen, uh, directed by uh, probably one of the worst directors of all time, Michael Bay. But, you know, I mean, he does his action movies, he likes his bra rosh grosh action. And, you know, Transformers 2, I thought it was just an entertaining movie. Drag Me to Hell, writer, director, Sam Raimi, guy who did the Spider Man movies. This was just this gross out uh, black comedy, and yeah, it was great. I mean, there were some really intense scenes, but there was, it was, I like the gross out scenes. It just brings you back to Evil Dead. It's great. Director Larry Charles and star Sasha Baron Cohen, uh, Bruno. Uh, yeah, Sasha Baron Cohen plays the gay Australian flamboyant Bruno, and uh, this movie was just the shockumentary of the decade. Director McGee and star Christian Bale do Terminator Salvation. I really like the feel of this movie. I liked that it was better than the third one and it just... it. I've been waiting a long time for a movie about the future wars because I mean I'm a big fan of the Terminator franchise. Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. I uh, really like this movie, the violence, great, the writing, Rob Zombie, just great filmmaker, just made a great horror film. I really liked it, better than the first one, and it's, it's if you like Rob Zombie, you're going to like this movie. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Um, this was, the movie was entirely unexpected. Like, I was like, oh, another Harry Potter movie, okay, I'll see it, I'll probably like it. But this one I really, really liked. Like. The relationships that's going on here, I mean, even though it takes place at like a school for magic and wizardry, I mean, I could connect and relate to what these characters are going through, and I really, really liked it. Writer-director Michael Mann does uh, Public Enemies, starring uh, Johnny Depp and Christian Bale. This movie was a masterpiece, filmed here in Wisconsin, and uh, I really enjoyed it. A lot of people thought it was too boring or too long. I thought just everything going on in this movie was awesome. The love story, the action, just the character Johnny Depp plays is so awesome. And Christian Bale's character was just, I mean, you wanted him to succeed, but at the same time, you wanted uh, Johnny Depp to succeed, to succeed. And just that fighting force throughout the whole movie is so awesome. I love the ending, and uh, yeah. Star Trek, directed by J.J. Abrams. This movie oh, was so awesome. Just, I mean, there's the this, this is sci one of the two sci-fi movies that came out this summer, the good one. Uh, there was a District Nine, but then this 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 was just like the action, like whoa my god, this was just this hit you like a ton of bricks. This movie was so awesome. It kind of just reinvented the genre. Uh, I mean, it reinvented the whole Star Trek franchise, and I, I loved it. J.J. Abrams, his direction was amazing. The cinematography was awesome. I, it's just, 
It kept moving and moving and moving. You didn't get bored for one second during this movie. And it was great. I loved Star Trek so much. My first time director, uh, Neil Blomkamp from South Africa, directed District 9. This was the best sci-fi movie I have seen in a long time. I mean, other than Star Trek, Star Trek was great, but this movie was just made you think, and it was just, I love the message and the theme that it came with, and just these, I love the guerrilla style, like, documentary style filmmaking, and I loved it. I mean, the beginning, it was a little, it got, it had to get momentum to get going, but once it did, it didn't stop, it was in your face, and I love every minute of this movie, District 9. I would see this movie over and over and over and just get better every time. That's how amazing it was. Quentin Tarantino, writer-director, Inglorious Bastards. This is the best movie I have seen in a really, really long time. It's, it's Quentin Tarantino's best. I mean, a lot of people will yell at me for that because, I mean, I did like it better than Pulp Fiction and Reservoir Dogs. Reservoir Dogs used to be my favorite Quentin Tarantino movie. Pulp Fiction was amazing, but this movie is the best Nazi movie ever made. And it's just, every, every bit of it is so satisfying. The writing, he deserves another Academy Award Quentin Tarantino. He deserves the best directing, this deserves the best picture, everything. The climax and ending was so mind-blowing, the rise up to, the build up to this, so awesome, the violence, everything went along with it. I love The Glorious Bastards, see it now, best movie this summer.